Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to purchase Electronium coins using Coinbase and then Cryptopia. So the price currently of Electronium is 6.5 pence GBP at the time of recording, which is 18th of December 2017 at that time. So to begin with, I'm just going to say that Coinbase will charge you quite a lot on their exchange rate as well as their fees. Um, a good alternative to Coinbase to liquidate your fiat into cryptocurrency. A good alternative is Bitstamp. So that's just going to cost you a bit less to do the same thing. But I'm not going to show you Bitstamp, I'm going to show you Coinbase because although you will pay more in fees, it's very user friendly. So this is the point, we're going to keep it simple now. So here you'll be getting started, you'll want to click sign up or get started. I'm not going to show you any of the registration process on either Coinbase or Cryptopia. I'm just going to show you how to do the work. So I'm going to sign in because I've already got an account. I'd highly recommend choosing a really large cryptographic password, if that's uh, one way to say it. And you want to keep all of these passwords stored in really, really secure places. I would recommend using um, an app called Turtle. Uh, that's this one here. So it's just a really good way to privately store your all of your passwords for everything and even banking information on because it's completely safe and secure. So yeah, I'd highly recommend looking into Turtle to save your password in. Also, Google Chrome saves your password as well. So that's there. I'm going to sign in. Okay, so here we are in the Coinbase dashboard. So first thing we want to do, the objective is going to be, so you've got money in your bank account. Um, for example, I'm going to be purchasing £500 worth of Electronium. This is my intention. So what we need to do is get the £500 of fiat currency out of the bank and into Coinbase, where we can then purchase Litecoins via Coinbase and then once we've got the Litecoins we'll then be able to send the Litecoins from Coinbase over to Cryptopia and in Cryptopia we will then be able to exchange those Litecoins for Electroniums so this is the way it has to be at the moment and so I'm going to begin by going buy sell and I want to buy Litecoin at 245 pounds and three pence choose your preferred bank account and I'm going to do 500 British pounds purchase so that's just under two Litecoins I'm gonna get um, yes so they char they're charging me a 20 pound fee uh, their exchange rate of Litecoin to British pound is going to be in their favor as well so yeah as I said the fees here are not going to be as good as Bitstamp so Let's go. Right, so I'm going to buy that. Okay, so buying authorized your transactions. Yes, I understand that. I have to confirm the purchase because it is potentially considered. But well, the banks just have to. So, yeah, buy confirmation. Your request is being processed. So, this just takes time. Um, I've chosen to use Litecoin as the uh, as the medium instead of Bitcoin or Ethereum because Cryptopia can only accept either Bitcoin or Litecoin and I've chosen Litecoin over Bitcoin in this instance because the transaction time should be quicker with Lit with Litecoin compared to Bitcoin. Okay, so the transaction has now completed and I've gone to my accounts tab, which is this one here. So I'll click there and you can see your different accounts available. So I'm in the Bitcoin one at the moment, so I'm going to click on the Litecoin. And as you can see here, I bought the Litecoin. So there it is, the £500 worth of Litecoin and it's there. So now what I want to do is... I've got the Litecoin in Coinbase, so now let's go over to Cryptopia. I'm going to log in, uh, which is up there. 
So logging in. Again, you'll have to register a Cryptopia. You may have to do some KYC, know your customers, such as uploading your passport or other documents. So now what I want to do is if we go to here and go to balances. Okay, so this. Right, so your screen will look like this when you go to balances. So now what you want to do is type in LTC and that will show Litecoin. Click it as your favorite. So mark it as your favorite. So Litecoin, because you're going to be transferring Litecoin. And now we want E, type in ETN to bring up Electronium and click it as your favorite. So now cancel out the ETN from the search bar and click favorites only. By the way, this is currently the black, the night theme. You can click day mode and it will change it all to white. Personally, I would prefer dark because there's various reasons, but yes. So you'll now have a similar look to my balances here. I mean, Electronium and Litecoin listed, that's great. So mine's going to be slightly different to yours because I've already got 29,000 Electronium there. So now we are ready to deposit or to send the Litecoin from the Coinbase account to the Cryptopia account. So to do that, we need to start here in Cryptopia. The Litecoin, we want to click Deposit LTC. We'll click Deposit LTC. And this is going to give us our deposit address. Now we select this deposit address copy that, right click copy, go over to, back to Coinbase and here in the LTC wallet we want to click on send to send the money from Coinbase to Cryptopia, so we click send and now we need to enter the Litecoin address that the Litecoin is going to be sent to, which just so happens to be our Cryptopia Litecoin wallet account, so right click paste, okay so that's there, there's no extra spaces or anything. So just be very careful that you are sending the Litecoin to the correct address because if you send it to the wrong address, I mean even like one of these characters on the end is out or at the start or something or there's, or there's a space in there um, at the end. Um, it could mean that your Litecoin is lost forever if this, if this address is not absolutely perfect. So yeah, make sure that that address is in there perfectly and you'll be fine. So here, withdraw from your Litecoin wallet. Yep, that's my Litecoin wallet that I want to withdraw from. The amount, so oh, in this instance, I want to send the maximum I can. So that's gonna, I'm going to click Send Max. And that's automatically going to work out my network fee and the total amount that I'll end up sending. So. Coinbase's fee in this regard is only 5 pence, which is basically an exchange fee, which is absolutely fine. The fees that were a problem. Were the ones in the first instance where we actually purchased the Litecoin. So now I'm happy with this, my wallet address is correct, it's taking from my correct Litecoin account as the maximum amount that I can send. So there we go, I'm going to press continue. Okay, so now to that address, Litecoin account, duh, 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 duh. so now to my phone I'll be sent the two step verification code. I'm just going to enter that in. Yeah, so the code has just popped through, which is absolutely what I wanted to have happen. So that's okay. So now you just need to enter your code. There we go. And confirm. Okay, your transaction is on the way to an external address. So I'm going to click a few details just for the sake of it. So yeah, it's saying here that it's pending. So 
the average Litecoin transaction time Okay, so the average transaction time at the moment is around about two and a half minutes, which is quite okay for me personally. Definitely faster than Bitcoin. So, yeah, we can just sit here and wait. So, if I, I'm going to go back to Cryptopia now and click on done. Okay, and so my balances will now, as you can see here for my balance, still 29,000 ETN and zero Litecoin, so there has been no change. As soon as the Litecoin transaction is confirmed on the blockchain, then this number here on the Litecoin available will change. So if we go back to Coinbase a second, and now dashboard, Okay, so recent activity, here it is, pending the send. Still pending. I'm just going to pause the video again. Okay, so I'm now back in <coughs> my Coinbase account section, so it's clicking on accounts. And then, as you can see in the Litecoin wallet, the coins finished sending at well the transaction started at 7 24 p.m the transaction just finished about 20 minutes later so now if we go to cryptopia and refresh we will then see the updated available balance of litecoin so there it is there they are they've moved into there so now we've got the litecoin now we want to purchase electronium so we go to the markets exchange tab and markets and we want the etn to litecoin marketplace so we'll click on etn slash litecoin okay so right we have available so we want to buy etn so we want to focus on this box down below we've got the sell orders so these are the most recent sell orders that have, that have been placed so these are people trying to sell ETN in exchange for Litecoin if we go right down to the bottom we can see some historic um, sell orders uh, where people are <laughs> kind of yeah the, so you could buy one ETN for that many Litecoins which no one's ever gonna make use that sell order because it's it's, it's crazy so, only sticking to the top where the most recent transactions are occurring. Uh, recent sell orders are being placed in this section here. So, I want to convert these almost to Litecoin to Electronium. So, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You could click this number here. And then what it will do... Okay, so to start with, okay, so to start with, what we want to do in order to buy some electronium, we want to click on one of the most recent prices. So here, this is the lowest price. This is the best price at the moment. So I'm going to click on that one, and it's going to allow me to buy. It's going to pre-populate this buy order section here, and that. So to, for me to purchase that 6,000 Electronium, it's going to cost me 1.8 Litecoins. Um, but that this these are constantly being updated. People are purchasing these. So by the time that I've clicked that and told you that, that would have changed already. So I'm going to click on a more recent one, that one, and I'm just going to click buy. Buy order submitted, and I've bought X numbers of Litecoins, uh, Electroniums from probably various different people there so you can now see that total amount of litecoins has gone down total amount of etn has gone up so i've purchased those and now i want to use the last of my available litecoins so i'm going to click on most one of the most recent prices that one and then i'm going to click 
that one so I can use the rest of my Litecoin balance. So all I did for that was I clicked Litecoin and then I clicked my available balance and what that's going to do is it's going to spend the last amount of my Litecoin balance and I'm going to click buy ETN. And as you can see I've only got a very small amount of Litecoin left. But if we go back to our balances and click balances, we go to our balances now you can see that the amount of electronium has increased, the Litecoin is now gone. If you don't want that Litecoin anymore, you could just press dust LTC balance and that will just basically delete that balance or it will give it to Cryptopia or something. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you found value in it and um, happy trading cryptos.